about what you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Dear Mr. Doozy, your video on how to make the downspout grow box was a little short. Could you go over it a little more in detail for us? Alrighty, just making some more downspouts. Now, if any of you have ordered these, they're coming. I'm working on them, there's a lot of orders. And if you won the giveaway, I promise it's on the way. I'm trying to do as many as I can right now and get them mailed off before the busy season starts for the holidays. But I just want to talk to y'all a couple of things about these downspouts as long as I'm making them, because I get a lot of questions uh, the size, one thing, as far as you're cutting them down, I was doing 30 inches, and if you order them online, they're 30 inches, and I just did that simply because they come in 10 foot lengths, 120 inches, and I cut each one into four pieces, it comes out to 30 inches, so that, that wasn't any magical thing that had to do with growing, it's just so that I could get four pieces out of one, and, and it fit inside of, I found a 32 inch box that I could mail it in, so I just went with that. If you want to cut them smaller, when I first started, I started with two foot sections, 24 inches. And the reason why I did that was because I had a porch that had rails. And if you look at some of my old videos, they're eight feet in between the two posts. So I would get a 10 foot piece of downspout. I would cut it to eight feet to fit in between them there. And I'd have a little two foot section left. And you know me, I don't like to waste stuff, right? So I cut little holes in there and bend the small two foot section and that's how I ended up with smaller pieces the 24 inch pieces was they were just leftover leftover parts from the eight foot lengths that I cut off a 10 foot downspout so you can actually cut them any size you want I have the ladder system it's four feet in between you know so it comes out a little smaller than four feet cutting it some people said mr. doozy I don't have a chop saw well, when I first started, I didn't use my chop saw out. It's just because I've got so many orders that I'm trying to do it fast and trying to do a nice clean cut on the edge. But I started with this a little hacksaw. Anybody can get that a couple bucks in a store and you can cut right through. It's really easy to cut. It's just plastic, so you can start with that if you like. You don't need a chop saw. And why do you use a two inch hole? Let's see, this one's a little bit Uh, and it's you can cut a two inch hole I actually use a one and seven eighth bit is because that's the one that I had and I've been using it for all these years and I use that because a lot of two inch neck cups will fall right through a two inch hole that they have this little lip but if you cut a little smaller they fit right in there and when I first started I didn't switch over to just using just pool noodles when I first started, remember, I had net cups. I had this, you can put rock wool in it, or you can have hydrogen. That's how I started. Then I started with foam, and I put foam in there, craft foam. And then we found out pool noodles. And if you notice, you know, these, you know, your pool noodle will fit right down inside of there, just like a cloning collar. See that? And that's how I started. 
and you can do this and that's why I still use one seven eighth inch uh, hole saw is so that I just if I decide to use net cups they'll still fit right in there and not fall out so I don't these things will last a long time the one that I've got over there on the ladder system with Pak Choi in is one of the first ones I built years ago and I'm still using it so these things will last for years so I use the one and seven eighth inch hole so that if any time in the future I want to use these they're ready for it now why would you use this well if you have just your pool noodle this is really thin right here right there's not a whole lot of support but we're growing just fast grown leafy greens now sometimes you need a little bit more support than that a little thin lip and you can do that with this these things fit down in here real snug and if you're growing anything like collards and kale swiss chard it's going to get a little bit bigger and you need a little more stability then this fits in there and that gives you a lot more stability so i keep my holes i keep cutting them at one and seven eight just in case down the road i decide that i want to use a bunch of net pots then i don't have to cut a bunch more downspouts if they still fit into what i'm using but if you don't ever plan on using any of these, you can cut that hole whatever size as long as it's smaller than the pool noodle and a pool noodle will fit in. So you, someone out there said that they cut one inch holes and they added more and then they could get a lot more seedlings in there. This has worked out well for me. It's kind of spaced out just the right amount of space so that when the pak choy grows and you've seen the, the pictures that I've got, they're kind of spaced out just right. So this is working well with me. Um, if you get into growing a lot of these, you can get a couple of these, cut them at one inch holes, cut your spacing down, put a lot more in, then you can germinate, you can have all your little seedlings in there, and then you can move them into bigger downspouts if you want. You know, you can have several different sizes. But for right now, this is all, you know, like I said, simplicity's sake, this is all I have. If we walk around my garden, everything's a one and seven eighth inch hole. They're all four inches on center, which that's another thing we can explain. Four inches on center means the center of this one to the center of that one, to the center of that one. So it's a two inch hole basically, so there's actually two inches in between. So what you do is, if I get six in here, I'll mark to the center, and I'll come back two inches and two inches on here, this way, and then from there I go four inches, four inches, four inches, four inches. And it works out just fine. I think it comes out to like, uh, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, and 25. If anybody's interested for a 30 inch downspout. So, hope that answers a lot of questions about that. I'm gonna get these made up, shipped off. We're working on these. Some people have asked me if we can make them a little more decorative. My wife's an artist. Uh, it's kind of hard to get her any time to paint anything, but I'm thinking about wrapping some of these in wood and making them look a little nicer than just a plain white downspout. So that's coming. You might insulate some of them so that during the summer, you know, beautiful fall weather right now, but during the summer when it's 80, 90 degrees, you want to keep these cool. We're thinking about wrapping them in wood and using insulation too. So that will be coming. And up here you can't see it, but I've got something in a package. I'll bring you in for a close up. One of my viewers, uh, Dave B has been asking me to open that up and that actually is a food grade NFT channel. So anybody that's worried about this just being PVC and plastic, um, I don't want to start a whole argument out there because there's some people that are really against it and there's some people who are not against it at all. And there te always tends to be some kind of argument whenever I post something. But um, if you're worried about it being just PVC and you want food grade, you can order one of those. Don't forget, lift and inspire, keep on growing. I love you all. Peace.